My name is Manuel Sittewin and I'm a geologist at the Kaar Leuven. My main research focuses on mountain building and processes related to mountain building, such as earthquakes. On that occasion, Mark Walkes invited me in the year 2000 to visit Sagalassos to look for earthquake evidence. This resulted in a multidisciplinary project in which we reconstructed the earthquake history in the area of Sagalassos. Afterwards, Sagalassos even became the standard for the discipline of archaeoseismology, uh, for which I led a project, an UNESCO project, in which we um, tried to find archaeoseismological evidences all around the world. On the 24th of August in uh, 2014, the excavation team experienced late in the evening a strong earthquake uh, in the region of Sagalassos. The, the epicenter of the earthquake was only five kilometers away from uh, the city. It was an earthquake of magnitude 5.2. And for us uh, geologists, it was the confirmation that the old fault that we found on which the city was built, the Sagalassos fault, was still active uh, because that earthquake was on that uh, fault. And that was the core of our research uh, at the end that was to identify uh, active faults in the area and the Sagalassos fault was one of them, which was to that uh, date, to the date of our research was not known. And what we also see at the site uh, itself, at Sagalassos itself, is that in the archaeological evidence, there are indications that the city has experienced in its long history also strong earthquakes, maybe around 500 AD and also in the second half of the 7th century. That last earthquake may be so severe that even the site uh, was abandoned. And we see that Sagalassos is not an exception. Uh, we see that in the whole Aegean, a lot of the old, the ancient cities are built right on top of active faults and that all these cities have experienced major earthquakes during their history. So earthquakes play a significant role in history in the whole Aegean regions. They can destroy a city, they can uh, cause so much damage that the city has to be rebuilt and that new building techniques are used. So it has an influence on history. But of course, uh, the Sarlassos fault is active today and will still be active in the future. And so what do we have to learn about it for the future? That is that also the people at Sagalassos, but also the people in the region of Sagalassos at Alassun and, and, and in uh, the valley should know that they live in earthquake country and that an earthquake can strike every moment. And so they have uh, something we have to do is to make these people aware that they live in earthquake country and that they can prepare for the next earthquake which can happen tomorrow or which can happen in 10 years. And there the site of Sagalassos, the archaeological site of Sagalassos can play a significant role in this awareness of uh, the local people. Because the local people connect with the old site of Sagalassos and by telling the earthquake story at Sagalassos uh, they can be aware of that risk they uh, live with, they have to live with in the area of Sagalassos and it can boost their earthquake awareness.